But I want to start with the latest in the coronavirus pandemic. Vaccination efforts are being delayed by storms that are hitting the South. We have Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kemlani here with all of the latest details. Hey, Anjali. Hey, Kristen. Yeah, unfortunately, that winter weather is still affecting vaccinations as well as vaccine deliveries in Texas specifically right now. We know that major concerns uh, over power outages and the, the cancellations as a result of vaccine administration really hampering efforts there. We also know that Texas is one of those sites that has FEMA uh, already on the ground for vaccinations as well as more deployed to help out with that. Um, we know that right now a lot of focus on vaccine delivery of course, uh, throughout the country, uh, uh, with not just the federal government increasing the allotment to states, but also looking to directly uh, get vaccinations through pharmacies as well as community health care centers, really top of mind. And of course, looking towards the end of the month, uh, still some concern about uh, what will happen once and or if rather uh, Johnson & Johnson gets its emergency use authorization, which is widely expected at the end of the month, and that could start rolling out even more vaccines. A, little, a lot of emphasis on the fact that it's a one dose uh, vaccine and therefore a lot of enthusiasm around it. But we just learned today from uh, White House officials that uh, Johnson & Johnson may not have as many uh, shots on hand as um, you know many might have anticipated with the amount of time they've had to build up. Their commitment to uh, the federal government has been 100 million doses by the end of June, uh, but officials said today that they're likely going to start with just quote unquote a few million uh, once they get that EUA. So uh, definitely you know waiting to see what happens. Uh, officials have said they're going to try and work with the company to increase. We've already seen those efforts uh, take place with Pfizer and Moderna uh, and that has helped to increase the supply uh, for uh, you know the allotment to state. So all eyes on that. Meanwhile, still some concerns over the the current count. While we know that cases and hospitalizations have come down dramatically and deaths have come down just slightly, uh, some concern about meeting that half million death toll before the end of the month, as well as what could happen if variants start to take over. We know that in the next month or two, that UK variant is going to be the dominant strain in the U.S., and we're starting to see some rise of other concerning strains. So a really mixed bag of a picture right now. Kristen. All right. Thanks as always to Yahoo Finance's Anjali Kimlani with bringing us all of those very important details throughout this pandemic.